You understand? Anyways, y'all, that's it, that's all. Dance and dance and the fire, fire. Happy Monday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I'm doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. Just before jumping into today's reaction video, just in case you did not catch my last upload, which was on Thursday, I believe, there is the thumbnail over and check it out. Anyways, jumping on in today, y'all, if you are stepping in new here, I will be talking about reality of motherhood stamp on that hoe okay and put neglect because that is what she is i will be talking about miss nika independent nika nika busy life 10 edition shanika grant uh what else y'all want to call her i'm just saying we can go on and on um that's who we'll be talking about today but before jumping fully into the reaction video i want to say to all of my beautiful lala gang all of, to my, all of my beautiful supporters just people on the outside all around thank y'all for just uh hitting me up over the weekend to allow me to know and be aware of the things that this okay this sicko was saying okay i thank y'all so much for that because i was not aware Get it too. Fuck that hoe. I'll blow that bitch shit. Lala, that bitch ugly too. That bitch had all that big mouth by talking about my kids and, and my baby daddy and me. Fuck that tramp. Tramp can get it too any day. I promise you she was in my city. I'll slaughter that bitch, man. I'll put that bitch in a body bag. I promise you I'll put it in a body bag. Fuck that hoe too. Y'all bringing up Lala and all these stupid I still ass. get the money from the hours I did? Yeah. You sure? Well, I don't work a job. Get my face from me. I'm gonna piss off these people. You gonna take me back up there? I ain't going up there. I'm not going up there. I ain't got no gas to go up there. Huh. Yeah. I'm not going up there right now. Mm -mm. I need that job. Um, certain things like that, I never worry about, okay? Ever. Okay? I, I ain't never feared a hoe, and I ain't gonna fear a hoe now. But it is a good thing because then that's something else that. I can, okay, and a lot of y'all too, can use against her, okay, use against her and to continue to fight for these kids, that's what I would say. Um, addressing those things, I did make the report, put it out there for Sumter to handle the situation or whatever the case may be. Uh, at the end of the day, she could be big mad about whatever reason it is. It's not going to shut me up. It's not going to stop me from talking. It doesn't instill fear in me, girl. I am fucking unbothered, okay? Then that's where I say, if it, the, the things that you say always comes back and hunt you in its own way. Because then that's where I say, if I wasn't, if I wasn't fully a mother and had kids, I would actually test your fucking gangster, okay? Because it's like, what are you giving here, okay? Y'all roll in the streets of Sumter with no landing, no direction, not knowing what's next, pushing your older kids out there to, to, to what would I say, survival, okay? To survive for you and, and your, your children, okay? Your children that you brought in. Things not going your way, things not going your way and not working accordingly, Okay, and you got to lose it. 
Well, I think anybody would lose it being in survival mode, accepting survival mode, claiming survival mode, okay? Saying living life to the fullest of being in fucking survival mode. Also, to let you know at the end of the day, you are. You are what you speak. You are what you pour and put into yourself. That's the only thing that I can speak to you. I can get on here and call you a bitch in a hoe and you disgusting, you dirty ass, dog nose ass, lot lizard, sea moose ass, big back ass, dirty ass, heaven ass, breed abroad, okay? It's a difference. It's a difference of a mother and a breeder, okay? It's a way that I have to carry myself and I will, okay? Never, never cross the line or get thrown out of line because some some broad, okay, or I would say dirty ass hoe is losing shit for herself and can't gain what she need in order to maintain, okay? I mean, it's disgusting. Then I would say you shouldn't be mad at nobody or angry at nobody but yourself, okay? You come on here and you put so much of your information out. You have said so much and then you think at the end of the day, all the things that I have said or the things that have been told about me some way, somewhere in there, somebody's just going to bury this shit. It's just going to disappear. No, it's going to come back and surface. And when it surfaces, it's going to start slapping you real hard just in case who comes across it. Okay, who wants to talk about it? Who is willing to really go in and talk about it? And I'm willing, okay? You have another one that's willing. But what then what I don't get is you have many reactors out here. Many reactors out here talking about your situation and what you post. But as I always say, Lala is going to come at, up at all times. She's going to always be able to pronounce and say my name because I get up under that whole dirty ass skin. You understand? Cutting no fucking corners, okay? Calling it out for what I see and you can't take it, okay? Jealous and envy is real because then that's where you say, who is this bitch? Who is she? Who is she? How does she have the nerves to come on here and talk about me, this and that? Look at her, this and that. You can't stand it, okay? But then that's where I say, it's slapped in your face. Maybe you should just fucking do better. Because why you riding around, okay, in a supposed new vehicle, used vehicle, rented vehicle, whatever the vehicle is, ho, you ain't got no place to stay. You ain't got no fucking comfort. And then that's where you will also say, y'all living behind a glass screen. I open it up for you to see, okay? I ain't got to go stay nowhere else or put my kids on the floor or none of that. It's home. It's what you call comfort. It's what you go out there and you grind for. It's what you got to pay for in order to have and not lose, especially when you bring the kids in. But when I'm some materialistic want to have as individual, <laughs> I give the fake life. This is what I give for the YouTube. But then that's where I say, nigga, be careful, okay? Be careful of the words that you speak because they will come back definitely to hunt you, okay? You ain't big gangster out here and you ain't none of that. So then where you use slaughter, but you ain't out here slaughtering for your kids. You ain't out here slaughtering to make sure that you don't land in fucking survival mode. But instead, I swallow that shit. I swallow that shit and I'm out here looking a plum fool in front of every fucking body. Every fucking body. And that ain't the only worst thing. It's all coming back that I'm just some street ass walker out here serving different heads, heads of lettuce and slobbing different knobs in the parking lot at a gas station. Cause I ain't got shit to give. I ain't got no worth. I don't think nothing of myself. But the next hit, that's all I can give. Sloppy mouth ass bra. Bitch, you walled out. You tired. Okay? Gotta look for another hit or another line or another smoke or another pop. That's what you fucking looking for.
But then you say you mad and you fed up. But then I can't take it serious because then that's where I say, why you jump on Instagram? Who the fuck on Instagram? I ain't. I'm over here on YouTube. Go live. Don't go live on uh, real life situations. Go live on, on reality of motherhood and neglect because that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm I'm on. I ain't out here chasing you on every fucking platform, ho, because you ain't famous. Famous for neglect. I heard lying to the folks. You lying to the government about the income, what you receiving. Okay? That's fraud, ho. If I want you out, I already be out. Kids snatched. Look like mama could take better care of the girls anyway. Because you can't. You don't know what's next. You ain't even got soap and water. Got to run to grandma's house to wash your dirty ass. But you got the nerves to get on her and think you want to threaten some fucking body. When you living in a fucking hell hole. So then that's where I say, don't come on next singing the songs by the railroad. And I pray to God, oh, because he hear everything that you speak and everything that you give and that you do. If I was in your city, this is what you would do. Really? Then had a nerve to say, I ought to be like Peach and follow and run up. Get run up and get knocked the fuck down. Did you not see Peach got knocked the fuck out? That's the thing about y'all sad ass mommy channels, okay? Mommy and, and exposing y'all life. Y'all trash than a motherfucker. Should be bagging all y'all self up right on down to Peach, right on down to JJ, right on down to all y'all. If you ain't hoeing your way through, you tricking your way through. If you ain't tricking your way through, you lying your way through. And if you ain't lying your way through, you neglecting your way through. You understand? Mental illness is fucking real and it's a lot that a lot of y'all deal with. You need to seek fucking help. You can't want to take the next broad out because she doing better than you. Life look better than yours. Maintaining and then put the shit on display so you can eat the shit up. And I throw it in your face and say, what now, ho? What now? You understand? You choose not to do for your kids and you choose to neglect them. But when people speak about it, you don't like it. You don't like it because you want to give the persona of I'm a good mother and I love my children and this and that. But you don't love your kids. You love what your kids bring to the table. You love the benefits. That's about it. Running to the courthouse, lying to the folks, you on child support for everybody. If I would say the total of what you are receiving, it's only for one child and the total that you are receiving and it's so fucking less than it ain't even a fuck enough to do nothing with that's gas money nerves to say talking about uh me and my kids and and hayward oh you still running to hayward defense you still running to try to save his ass too don't you understand he over there with a wife and all his kids and that he is taking care of his kids. He is taking care of his household. He is making sure everybody over there is good and straight. But when it comes to you and what kids he's supposed to have with you, he's not giving a fuck about y'all being in survival mode, not eating, not having. He's not caring about you going out to Little Caesars, getting a piece of double slice because you don't have enough, right? You don't have enough. So you're trying to allow your kids to see that they eating more and they not. He is not worrying about that y'all ain't got nowhere to wash y'all ass right now. He is not worrying about what y'all have and don't have. He is not worrying about if y'all have a place to stay or he don't. But you still running, okay, to his defense because somebody is telling the truth about what he is giving. Not a fuck about you or them supposed to be kids over there that belongs to him. But looks like to me only Leah belongs to him. Not Hayward Jr., not not Kira, not none of those. That's what I would say. But that's my thought in my opinion. Because then you would say, wouldn't he be on child support for more of his children than the ones he don't know? I mean, it, it makes no sense. So why are you using your energy to bring him in this? He ain't trying to rescue or run to your defense. You sick, okay? You sad as fuck. That's what he said. Look how you display his kids. Look what look at your situation. That's why I say anybody come in contact with you, yeah, they need to run. Okay? She can't bring good or nothing. Only thing she can do is get on a platform and talk shit. Maybe some way, somehow, that'll bring her something. 
But talk about what little money they have. This is your situation. You grown as fuck. You can hold bullets in your hand and talk about what you gonna do as being a grown woman. Then that means you can handle your situation and your children and every fucking thing else. You don't need nobody help. Help. Help your fucking self and your mental because you ill as fuck, I would say. Okay? And get off the drug because drugs is a powerful thing. It'll allow you to act a certain way and destroy your life in any and each and every way. Just as it has has done right now. Where your money at? Where your taxes? Where the money you was throwing at? Now you're riding around. Ain't got a dollar. Ain't got change. Ain't got money for nothing. Now you're over here and they got to make you and your children plates because you can't do the damn job. It's understandable if you fall on hard times and this just don't happen every year as a pattern over and over again. But when it repeats itself year after year after year and we talking about yeah, what we in, 2024? How long has this been happening? Like, every year within your life, this has been taking place. So then that's where you say, give no fuck. She ain't trying to do better. She don't give a fuck. You over here trying to defend a man that ain't trying to defend you or his kids. The kids that need help. Help from your ass. And that's where I say, yeah, let them run in. Let them take them, okay? At least it'll force him to do his job. Only if he want to. But it look like he don't want to because he don't want to do it now. Talking about what she would do. Bitch, what you need to be doing is going, go fill out some applications and finding some jobs because your situation is bad. It's really bad. Shit, out in the parking lot trying to make a video. Huh, that's all you got. You ain't got nothing. Else. So before I get on here and I open my mouth and I speak anything about doing anything to anybody, make sure you ain't in no fucking hellhole first. Make sure you ain't in survival mode first. Because then that's where I say, what you speaking is survival, okay? You don't know what's next. You don't know how it's going to end. You don't know shit. But you got on here and said, I had all my stuff. My stuff is together. But you ain't got no home, ho. You, you are out here traveling. <laughs> traveling in. Looking for somebody else to feed you and your children. Refusing to get out there, okay? And bend your big back ass over and go work. You scared to do that. Instead, you want to push Naya and Papa. And when the shit don't work out for them, you know why the shit won't work out for them. Because they both are reflections of you and giving that same type of shit. And that same type of ignorance that you bring to the parking lot, to the manager, thinking you could change the situation. Because y'all just can't stand on y'all shit. It's a sad case. Place in front of you, but everybody on the other side of the screen, we definitely see it. It's being revealed, child. It's being revealed and not only revealed, but it's it didn't it didn't already crumbled. It didn't crumble to why you in a motel and you trying to serve your kids a slice of pizza but cut it in two again. So we back we made it back to that. Trying to give your kids the illusion that they eating more, but in reality they eating less as fucking hell. Then you want to come on and bring my mouth up because I talk too much. Yeah. Somebody got to speak up and talk to, for your fucking kids because you sure don't do it. You sure don't do it. You accepting of everything. You accepting of the situation that took place with Leah. Knowing damn well you knew what was taking place. Knowing damn well you know if this girl was peeing and pooping on herself at whatever age. You knew that shit. But you too busy trying to sweep that shit under the rug. Just like, oh, I got a place to stay. Who say I'm standing? Your whole, your whole atmosphere, your whole energy says what's given and what's taking place and what you done lost and what you don't have. Okay, son out here trying to scrape up. Scrape up for y'all to have with a fucking Chromebook. <laughs> I can reset it and sell it. Nobody want that shit. Do you know how much Chromebook sales in the store? I mean, it ain't too much of nothing. Y'all damn real fucking bad. Then that's where I say y'all might as well. I'll go hit that truck stop. Okay, go do what you know how to do best.
Okay? Go mess around and go trick. Go have a little bit more. That's why you up there. What she say, y'all? She need birth control. She need birth control because she out here just having babies. And at the end of the day, don't know who they buy. But then that's where I slap it back on Hayward. Hayward ain't giving a fuck because he know them kids don't belong to him. But the sad part is they innocent. Okay? So they don't ask to be in this situation. They don't ask to be out here not knowing who they belong to. Just saying. But y'all let her threat. Let her say whatever the fuck she want to say. It's crazy because Friday I ain't even record. But I sure did make a report. Report this DSS again. Sorry ass. That's why I say sorry ass. Don't make a move. I ain't doing shit. But taking reports. How many reports y'all gonna take before y'all jump up and do something? That's what I want to know. I put it out here and let it be known what I give and what I do. It ain't just my mouth talking. I'm just saying. So then that's why I say you probably want to go to the people and clear up what you put on your income status. Because we all out here know that you rocking two YouTube channels. Unless you can throw them hoes and Naya name. But it's still... Shit, you ain't claiming you ain't claiming Naya is a source of income, right? Not right alone, not Papa, right? Oh, okay. Bitch, I want to see your shit crumble. I want to see the kids out of your space and away from you. I want to see it, okay? And I work hard to get it. Bitch, you can continue to sing and show bullets and all those things. Bitch, this what make you? This what make you? Is that what make you? If you don't have that, you ain't about shit, right? Is that what, is that what it's telling me? Okay? Because then that's where I say, on either side, I'm about it. Either side, I don't need nothing to cover me. I'm about it, okay? But you got to show something. Bitch, who, what life you live in? Who's scared of that? No fucking body. Looking ignorant as fuck with your baby in, in your lap. I ain't combed on her, but you got time to pull out bullets. Make that shit make sense, okay? Y'all out here sweating, okay? Looking dirty, and you out here want to throw threats. But you can't travel nowhere, can't do nothing, never got no gas money, never got no money. Okay, want to come on her and beg everybody for a handout. But you put yourself here, right? This is what you like. This is what you want. But you want everybody to be accepting of your shit and look over it like it ain't nothing. You're a little sloppy ass bro. Okay? Sloppy, dirty mouth ass bro. No wonder your fucking teeth gone. They call you being a fucking lot lizard. I mean, reptile looking ass. I mean, it make you look silly. And I can come on here and go right back at you. But guess what? I'm better than that. I ain't a breeder. I ain't a hoe. Okay? I ain't a lot lizard. I ain't neglectful. I ain't none of those things. I ain't a liar. I ain't out here trying to fake it till I make it. But knowing my ass is in straight survival. Survival, I ain't got water. I ain't got ice. I ain't got a pot to piss in. That's what I would say. You a pissy ass. Don't have a pot to piss in, bro. That's what I would call you. So then you say, I can give it however the fuck you want it. But then on the other side, it's something within me saying, your dirty ass ain't worth it. Okay? Because when I can go in there and I can run my water with my soap and my fucking towel, not just my fucking soap, I'm good and great. Okay? I ain't, I ain't shit over here making my shit shake in the fucking wrong way. But when I got to sit back and think about what's next, or what's the next on with my kids so I don't lose them? I don't think you can think about what's next. I've been told you 2024 when you came on here and you talked about what you was going to give. I've been told you your shit finna explode. It's going to come crashing. Okay? A lot of these people that support you and, and call themselves bookies, they're going to be able to see the real you. Because the real you of what you're supposed to be giving, you surely not giving. Ha! <laughs> But you'll try to give some what to get in their pockets. But allow her to go on the other platform, y'all. She she giving straight who she is. Sitting there cussing the manager out. Because Papa ain't got a job. Should show your kids. Be a fucking role model. Allow them to see you do and then they'll know what to do. But when you support their habits of buying cigars and, and, and popping pills and doing drugs with them, they don't know what their work life is about. Okay, when you over here saying that you run into run into Naya's job to save the fucking day, they don't they don't they don't know what 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 being in a work environment and how to carry themselves and not lose a job is about. 
And that's where I say, for now, you don't be like your mama because it seems like you already got somebody in them sumter streets that want to hop on your ass, okay? I don't think nobody that's hopping from motel to motel to grandma house to the car to don't know where the fuck you landing. I'm just saying, okay? It's so bad you got to separate the kids and let the boys go with grandma and, and let mama get the girls for a little because you are an unstable fucking being. Mentally fucked up. Dirty ass dog. That's what I would say. How every time you talk, I wish I could slap the shit out of you for being neglectful. How do you have somebody else to step up and want to do and take care of your kids properly as they should? Then you have the nerves to put them on display talking about you love your kids all 10. But you ain't never went out your way to allow your girls to look as beautiful as they look being in the care of mama. You know why? Because you don't give a fuck. You know why? Because I'd rather spend my money on myself. You know why? Because I'd rather get high and do all those things. You know why? Because I'd rather run around, leave my kids at home, go and go get some dog tonight. Your whole life over there in that fucking storage. And better yet, in your fucking back seat. That's all you got. But then you want to be on here talking about internet famous. We bringing you views. Giving you the money. The money evidently ain't counting up and adding up because it ain't changing shit about you. The main ones talking is living stable and stable and good. Somewhere where the one is saying that they catching it all and continue to bring me money, coins, and views. Bitch, you riding the roads. You riding the roads thinking about what the fuck is next. What, where I'm going to eat at next. Who going to make me a plate next. Sad ass situation. Bitch, how you eating tonight? It's disgusting. And then you think that somebody on the other hand say, well, don't talk about her. Help her. <laughs> how many times you going to help a bro like this? How many times you going to try to help somebody that don't want to help their fucking self? How many times you going to try to do it? How many times can you help somebody that continue to do the same shit every year, every six months, same shit? How many times you gonna help them? What you gonna do then? That's what I'm saying. So then that's where you say somewhere in there, you need to allow her shit to be slapped in her face. Okay, let her see it. Let her smell it and get mad about it. But this is your shit that you serving, that we seeing. We ain't got to see these kids that ain't had their hair combed in months, ain't took bath, clothes look dirty, kids look dirty, they ain't eating properly, okay? They being neglected to the fullest. You allowing different things to happen to them, then have the nerves to spread the word and spread the story to different people and don't think that shit will backfire on your ass. Just saying, make it make sense. So then that's why I say reaction's going to take place regardless. It's Lala going to speak regardless. And you're going to continue to know my name. You're going to continue to know how to pronounce my shit. Okay? Because you know who you fuck you checking for. And you know, I'm really, I'm really on. <laughs> what would I say? Y'all know and she know that I'm really fucking standing on business. Okay? So then I will continue to say, report, okay, everything. I ain't standing in your cone on shit. I'm against you in every fucking way possible. Anything that I see fit that will allow these kids to be rele released, I'm throwing that shit against you. Sure is. And I think I ain't never been in a reaction seat. Being this fucking firm, okay? And standing this strong on some shit. But it's some shit with you that I just can't accept. Somebody that say, don't watch. Nope. Okay? She came to me. Okay? She hopped up in my recommendations. Okay? So evidently it was something for me to see. And now that I see it, allow it. Ought to blow me out. Bitch. I, then that says a lot. Okay? It says, I talk too much because I know too much. And I know what I'm speaking. And what I'm speaking is right. And I speak the situation before I know the situation. It's too much. I'm allowing people to see who you are. Okay? Besides what you are trying to give and display. I'm allowing your own supporters to see who you are. Okay? Then, you have vice. Okay? You don't like, I bring her on in. Okay? I bring her on in and I want her to get there too. 
Okay, I want the people to support her. I I want everybody to hear the situation of this nasty ass, disgusting, mentally ill, dirty ass. Okay, sloppy ass, broad. Okay, neglectful as fuck. Out here with a dress on, looking like some fucking dried up oatmeal ass raisins. I was like, y'all know how oatmeal look. With the raisins dried up. Bitch, you are dried up. You are fucking slop. Nobody want to be like you. Nobody want to hate on you. You are disgusting. Can't even live a life or or even be. You say survival mode, but how the hell are you surviving? How? How? You allowed this to happen. You allowed this to happen to you, but then you want to turn it on social media like social media got you kicked out of the, the, the little shack over there when you got your own fucking self kicked out. But I use this because maybe they'll start feeling sorry for me. Every situation you land in, you get kicked the fuck out. And then somebody say, like, why she ain't on Section 8? Why she not getting assistance? Because she probably messed that shit up for herself. Okay? Just saying. Tech, tech season was just here. Should have spent your money wisely instead of thinking you were showing me something, showing me the coins and, and the purses. You know what I did with my tax money? Caught up on fucking bills and paid bills. And at the end of the day, okay, I could still tie my bow and sit here and talk shit and all those things. <laughs> Not going out trying to buy bags and, and, and this to show. <laughs> Nobody ever be jealous of your situation, of the things you have or you you don't have. You childish as fuck, and somebody that's that childish as you can't be in a mother position, a mother position to raise kids because you allow yourself to fall, not fall within a struggle because somewhere in there you you, you know you in a struggle, but I keep doing because. <laughs> I don't know what you're giving, but then when you fall in survival mode, you want to talk about survival mode like it's living fucking life. Survival mode is you don't know if you're going or coming. Survival mode is I could be here tomorrow and I'm gone the next. Survival mode is I ain't got nothing to eat. I don't know what to give. I don't know. You don't know. That's what survival is. And I don't think nobody in life want to live on survival mode, especially when you have all the kids that you have that need to eat and have have every fucking day on the hour okay and then what I was like fucking hour okay that's how I take it so bitch take your threats shove that shit up your dirty ass okay you need them hoes more than me you need to be threatened so your ass can be bothered bothered enough to get up off your dusty ass and make a move you understand you could continue to keep pissing in every spot there is but you ain't got a place to piss in of your own and that's the whole problem is being supposed to be a woman and a female and a mother at that not a role model not teaching Kids don't know shit because of you. They lack because of you. They lose because of you. Look at Naya. Look at Papa. It's, it's sad that we watching this shit unfold and you go live to show everybody that Papa just got hired on this somewhat job for McDonald's and his ass is already out the fucking door. Can't be on time. Don't know his schedule. Don't know when to work. Then Naya, on the other hand, talking about she want to be bullied. It's the same thing with you too. Y'all don't know how to work. Don't know... You think shit revolve around y'all. Then y'all think y'all mama gonna come and save the day. Gonna get her ass whooped, okay? Because that's what she giving out here. So anyways, y'all, that's all I had to say on this day. Really didn't want to jump on her and record because as I said, my cycle is killing me. Just got me in a ugh, okay? But... I want to address and say those things and also say to y'all, thank y'all so much for just reaching out. Okay, yes, it was a lot within these hours as one person emailed to me and said, I, I know it's a lot within 24 hours. It is a lot. It's a lot of me just trying to catch up on my comments and my, my DMs and my emails is blowing off like crazy of this nut, okay, of this ignorant nut that don't know at the end of the day, you making yourself look real sick and ill out here not in a good way you can talk your shit all day what is it doing still leaving people unbothered and not bothered the only one that should be bothered is you and also saying use your own words and your own sense of tactics <laughs> i mean and put the fire up under your ass and allow yourself to move okay 
Because just like we watching it unfold with you not having not nowhere to stay. And ain't nobody feeling fucking sorry for you. It's the kids that shouldn't be landing and going through this shit. It's the kids. You understand? Kids. That you and Hayward failed to support or do what y'all have to do for. Bent over backwards. I mean. But when I run out here and I work my mouth. Okay. And I hold around for my purposes. Okay, because I ain't pouring that shit in my kids. My purposes. It look bad. But then when I said two shit, you got to get it however you got to get it. But that's get it how you got to get it to make sure your kids got it. Okay? That's what that means. I did it for my kids. But doing it for myself because I'm just a little nasty ass bro. I mean, that's disgusting. Okay? It's real disgusting. And when you allow things to take place with your kids and you don't try to break the shit up or get nobody help or interfere within the situation, you lie to cover up just like you lie each and every day on here to cover up and cover up and cover up. How many fucking cover ups? We might not know and we may not see, but somebody see. Somebody see enough to say, you know what, it's time for me to start breaking and destroying your shit. And that is what's taking place right now. No home in place. Don't know what's next. Run into grandma's house just to take a bath. Just to wash your ass. Run into grandma's house so she can fix you a plate of food or fix your... Because you can't fucking feed them. Now, at the end of the day, before I shoot threats out to anybody, I take a look at myself. Can't hold bullets in my hand if I ain't got cash. I ain't got nothing. I can't provide shit. But you can provide a weapon. You can provide a gun, right? Make that shit make sense. Look sad as fuck. Girl, come with something else. Allow me to see something. Show me something. Because I ain't showing me shit. It's showing me that you a piss poor individual. Scary as fuck. Don't feel like you bow something unless you holding something in your hand. Roll it in that. You ain't got shit to fucking work with. That's what I would say on this day. But what I also let you know, I forever be it's Lala and I will forever speak and my mouth will forever be big. Screaming out loud for your kids that continue to get overseen and neglected by your ass each and every fucking day. I would say, let them go. It's that easy. It's just that easy. Be in survival mode by yourself, but not carrying so many kids alone just because. Look at Sai. When the last time you bathed your baby? When the last time you took the time out to comb her hair and give her a bath? As you said, as she said, and as y'all heard, she took a bath at grandma's house. Not the kids. Not Sai. Her don't even look like it been washed. Bitch, you can't tell me nothing. Can't threaten me on shit. All you can do is Allow yourself to sink even deeper in this hole that you are already in. So then that's where I also tell you, you better go to them people and just report the right income, okay? Because we all know you get more than $127 and then that's what I said on this day, okay? Keep playing, nigga. Keep playing. I rest good last night, can't you see? I ain't sticky, I ain't sweaty, I ain't none of those things. And I ain't in fucking survival mode. You know why I ain't in survival mode? Because I don't allow myself to land in survival mode, especially not being a mother. The mother is the head in charge, okay? In charge, supposed to lead in God. Know what's next for you. Okay? When the struggle is real, the struggle is real. So don't never try to put yourself like you're not in a struggle, but everybody in the background know that you're struggling, but you want to give us different. And then by trying to give us different, you fall and slip into fucking survival mode and then want to display it like you're living your best life in survival mode. No, ho. Survival mode is go get a bucket and, and, and have your way with it because you ain't got shit else. Survival mode is riding around, got to park in the parking lot because you ain't got shit to do or nowhere to go. That's survival mode. Survival mode is I, I feel like I can slaughter this this broad and follow this lady and beat do all this. Because the outside of what we giving looks better than what you have and giving because you don't allow yourself to have better. 
So then that's where I'll be mad and land in survival mode because we know the truth, the truth of what we are speaking and you know what it is. So then that's where I say the best thing for you to do is to focus and concentrate on getting your ass out of survival mode and being a breeder or a parent or a mother, whatever you choose to be for your children, okay? I'm just saying because it's all slowly coming to an end. It's like the clock, the clock. Is ticking and sometimes the hands can tick very slow which makes the time drag but even within the time dragging things is moving in the background and taking place I would say anyways on this day anyways y'all if y'all like this reaction video let's throw those thumbs up and if you have not I do ask that you do 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 subscribe and y'all already know Everything that it's like I give over here ain't nothing for us. But what I do ask you to do is drop your comments down below. Let me know what you feel about this whole sit your sit your or what I say sick ho. Okay? How the nerves do you have to come on here and try to threaten somebody? And at the end of the day, what did you think that was going to do? How would you think that was going to make me feel? What? I would say fucking unbothered. Unbothered but to say, bitch, now you got something against you. Damn crazy of you and then also to say let the truth be revealed you come on to your youtube channel and you say oh i'm not about the internet beef beef i'm not with drama i'm not with this I ain't never talk about slaughtering you. What I talk about is you and your situation with your kids and what your supposed to be baby daddy is not doing and what he should be doing. But you on her begging everybody else to do it. And I talk about your lies and you coming on her serving lies after lies and knowing it's a lie. Trying to cover it up and we speaking straight truth and facts. That can burn anybody up. I'm just saying. Surprise your whole ass ain't on fire right now. I mean, let the truth reveal itself to show who you really are and what you give and how you don't give a fuck. And it's all about you, that you'll push your oldest out there to go get it. Not to go get it for themselves so they know what work life is like, but it's all for you. We on hard times right now. It's not Papa's fault and it's not Naya's fault. It's your fucking fault. I mean, anyways, y'all, see y'all in the next reaction video. Peace.